Trello's new left sidebar is finally here. If for some reason you don't have access to this yet, don't worry. The Trello team is rolling these out incrementally to everyone. The left sidebar is meant to improve overall productivity when using Trello. We will go over everything with the new sidebar, shortcuts, and explaining different sections to get familiar with. Let's get started. If you're on any one of your boards, you will see a new left sidebar next to your first list on the left side. There is a logo displayed under the menu. This is your workspace name. To give this a different look, perhaps with a logo, click on the logo and click on the workspace name. This will direct you to your workspace overview. Simply click on edit workspace details next to the logo in the middle of your screen. Here you can change other information, but let's just click on logo. Upload a new logo and select the appropriate logo you want to use. Head back into the previous board that you were in. You can see this logo has now changed. Clicking anywhere on the left side menu will now display all of the boards in your workspace. If you are familiar with the old Trello screen, there used to be a boards button next to the home button on the top left. When clicked, this used to cover the first list entirely. With the new left menu, when clicked, this slides over all of the lists allowing you to see all of your lists still. Another key difference from before was filtering through a large list of boards. Previously, you needed to click on each board, wait for it to load and open. Kind of a pain. Now if the menu is open, you can filter through all boards without the menu collapsing. This is a definite time saver. Clicking the workspace name at the top of the menu or clicking see all workspace boards at the bottom will show you all boards in this workspace. Here you can customize your workspace as needed. If you wanted to open and close the left side menu, just press the open square bracket and you can press the open square bracket in to close it. If you wanted to press the close square bracket, this will close the right side menu. This will help you close and open things much more quickly. Another difference with this recent update is header navigation has also been changed. Clicking the Trello logo as before brings you to the boards page. The left sidebar now shows all of the boards that are on your current workspace. On the top global header, you can also filter through a number of workspaces that, that you are a part of. Combining this with left sidebar navigation, you can quickly sort through a wide number of boards quickly in various workspaces. You can also select recent boards from the global header as well as starred boards. Starred boards were a bit annoying before. Now we'll display your starred boards in the global header for easy reference. Search has also been slightly modified. The search results display has a much more detailed search section than before. A simple shortcut is to use a forward slash to open your search quickly. You can also type in B, which will display all of your boards here as well. This was just a very quick overview of Trello's new update. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.